Hello everyone. We will continue the topic how to read data from a file which is on presentation server or we can say on our desktop. In the previous video, we finished up to this level. We call the function module f4 underscore file name and we got the full name of the file or we can say full path of the file. Now, what is our next target? Suppose I'm running this program. We will choose the file and we selected the file and we have a full path of the file. Now, what is our next target? Whenever we will click on to this execute button, we want to read the data which is available in this particular file. We all know at the starting itself, we covered that if you want to read the data from a file which is on presentation server, we will use the function module GUI upload. So now it's a turn to read this particular function module, to use this function module. Now, what I will do, we all know whenever we will click on to this execute button, SAP is calling the event start of selection. So on start of selection, we will use the function module GUI underscore upload. So I'll go to back button. Now we will call the event start of selection. So I will write start of selection. Now we will go for function module GUI underscore upload. So I will go to pattern. I will use the function module GUI underscore upload. I will go for enter. Now what this function module will do, it will read the data which is available in that particular file. So if you know here in this particular parameter, we are getting the file name. We have the file name here. Now I will come on to now this parameter has field separator. Do you have a field separator in your file? Yes, we have a tabulator. We have a tab as a separator in the file. So you need to set it to true. We all know if we want to set it to true, we have to put it to capital X. X means true. If you will double click on GUI upload, you can simply see that description has field separator. It is clearly saying column separated by tab. So yes, we have a tab in our file. So we are simply setting it to true. True means yes, we have a tab in our file. Best practices, we should always, always uncomment the exceptions. Now, it will return the data. And we all know that it will return that data in the form of internal table. You are passing the full name of the file. So it will return that data. It will return that data. Now our internal table will consist of how many columns? Two columns. Because we have two columns in the file. Employee ID, employee name. So I will create an internal table of two columns. So I will simply create a structure first of two columns types. Taken off, I will give the structure name. Suppose employee ID is numeric 10 and employee name is character 40. I will write character 40. I see. I will end this particular structure. Now I will declare the internal table and work area. 
data. I will declare internal table type table of structure name and I will declare work area. Work area is LWA underscore data. So our internal table work areas are ready and I will pass this internal table LT underscore data. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now our data will come into this internal table means all five records will come into this internal table and I will display those five records. Loop at internal table into work area. For every loop, there is an end loop and we will go for write statement. Write work area hyphen first column is employee ID and the second column is employee. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now, firstly, we will get some error because whenever we will run this program, we will get some error. And based upon that, we will check how to resolve that runtime error. So I'll put a breakpoint on GUI upload. I'm running. We will upload the file. We have the file. I'll go to execute. Whenever I will click on to execute start of selection event called and you can see we are passing the full path of the file, full name of the file, file separator is tab, yes field separator is tab. It will return that data into this internal table. We have two columns in the internal table, but whenever I'm doing F6, we are getting a runtime error. And what the runtime error is saying, type conflict during a function module. And it is clearly saying where the type conflict is. It is between file name and p underscore file in gui underscore upload. It is clearly saying there is a mismatch between file name and p underscore file. So we will see where the mismatch is. So I'll go to the program. If I will say it is saying P underscore file and file name has a mismatch. P underscore file is character 128. If I will go to file name, file name, file name is of which type? String type. So you are passing a character to a string. That's why the mismatch is coming. So we all know the solution for that. This is type casting. We will do a type conversion or type casting. So I will simply declare a variable of string type. I will pass our character very character to string lv underscore file is equal to p underscore file. We passed character to the string and now we are using this string. I will write the comment here. It is type conversion or type casting. Or we can say best word is it is your explicit type casting. You declared an external variable to take the type casting. So we passed our character file name to string. String we are passing to string. So there will be not be any mismatch. I will just check the syntax, activate, and I will show you the result now. I'll put a breakpoint. I'm running. We will upload the file. This is our file. Execute. You can see 
character we passed it to string now we have the string if i will do f6 yes we want to allow you can see in the internal table we got all the five records you can see this data is on our presentation server we read the data which is on our file which is on presentation server using gui upload so we have five records now we are displaying all these five records using the loop statement so this is what we did and this is our first topic how to read the data from a file which is on presentation server or on our desktop you should firstly get the file name using f4 underscore file name function module then you need to use gui underscore upload function module which will read the data from the file and then we displayed the record one by one we did the type casting also because file name is of string type so we did the type casting also so that's it in this video thank you